How's it going everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to install the Nexus mods onto TCG Card Simulator. The first step you want to take is you want to open up Nexus mods and I'll put this in the description below, the link to this. You want to come over here, you want to go to games. You want to type in TCG and enter. Should be the only one here. As you can see, I already have a bunch of these downloaded. So you want to go to popular of all time. And this is the first one that you will need. If you go over here, click on it, go to files. You want to click manual download. Now, if you do not already have an account set up for this site, it's free. Just sign up for one. Once you do that, you'll be able to click slow download and you can donate if you want to, but you don't have to. It'll start in five seconds. Now it'll pop right up here into downloads, okay? So you click on that. Once it's done downloading, you'll open it up in the folder. Now, you'll want to make a TCG mod folder. This is my second one because I was confused on my other one because I put a bunch of stuff in there, and I want to show you it from scratch. So you want to make this folder, and you'll want to extract all of those into that folder. So you go over here, go to extract all. You browse, go to your desktop, and go to my mod folder too. You extract it, and there it goes. It'll pop up right here, okay? So now, what you'll want to do is you want to open up your Steam library. You want to go over to TCG Card Shop Simulator. You want to right click, go to Manage, and Browse Local Files. Now, mine has already been modded. It'll have a bunch of stuff on here that you'll see after you mod this. So I'll show you what it looks like, the original one. These are all the default files. And I would urge you to make this just in case you want to go back to non-modded. Copy all the files and then put them in a folder that I, I just named TCGOG. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to take this whole thing right here and you want to drag it over to the simulator file in your Steam. Right now it's going to ask me if I want to replace. No, I don't want to. So what will end up happening is you'll have the winhttp.dll, the version. This was already there. You'll have the readme. You'll get the doorstop config, the version, and then this is just the application that's already there. Now this is the most important file right here. This file right here will have different things in it. And this is the important one within this file is your plugins. This is where you put all of your plugins that you're going to download, right? So what you do is you'll need a texture replacer if you do want to do the Pokemon or the, the Yu-Gi-Oh mod or anything like that. And I'll show you how to do that. So what we'll do is we'll go back here to Nexus. We'll go back to the main page and we'll go to Pokemon. So we'll go to the Pokemon, do the same thing, go to files, get the latest one, go to manual download, and it'll tell you that you need the texture replacer. So actually we'll, we'll do the texture replacer first. So it's, it's actually nice, it'll tell you exactly what you need. So go to texture replacer, go to files, go to the, the main file, the newest one, go to manual download, and it says you need the BIPNX pack for TCG card shop simulator. That's already what you downloaded and transferred over. So you have that, so you're good to go. So you'll download. Same thing, slow download. It'll take you five seconds again. Then the download will pop up here. You're going to show it in the folder. Go to downloads. And do the same thing. Put this into your modded folder. Right up here. Select folder. Extract. Now it'll pop up again here. So now you see the texture replacer, right? Boom. So you go back. Mine is since this. Oh, no, it's right here. Okay. So what you do with this texture replacer, as you can see, it's not on the first page here. You have to go into your BepinX plugins, and then you want to drag this folder over in your plugins. Now I'll just replace mine since it's a new one. Boom. There it is. Texture replacer. 
Now within this texture replacer, you have all your objects, data, meshes, and textures. These are like your plushies, your card data, and let's see what this one is. This is just all like the pictures and stuff like that, right? So now that you have your texture uh, replacer, your .dll, which it's in that folder, if you go back over to um, the texture replacer that you just put in, it has the texture replacer .dll, so you leave it like that. So now we'll go back over to Nexus, and we'll come over here to the Pokemon. So with the Pokemon, you'll do the same thing. Come over here to Files, Manual Download. See, now we have both of these already installed. So now we'll download and go to Slow Download. This one's a bigger file. It takes a little bit longer. It's not because of your internet speed. It's just because it is a slow download. This will take a while, and I'll fast forward through this, and then I'll show you how to transfer the new files into your texture replacer because that's where it goes this all this is is a texture mod for this okay now it's done downloading you want to click on it go to your downloads do the same thing extract it to your mod folder right here extract and it'll take a little bit it's a lot of files 613 items so what you want to do when you go on to the nexus mod anything that says update available you want to update it because they patch it for the new version of the game so you can see in here we have tcg card shop simulator right here bepin x plugins texture replacer so now what you'll want to do is you want to come back to your mod right here and this is from the card shop simulator from your steam you'll take this and you'll just drag it over as a whole folder it'll ask to replace yes 216 files the mesh do the same thing and what this is doing is it's taking all the files that are in these and updating the files that you already have but since you don't already have them you'll have to do this so in each one of those folders was a file and all these files replace everything so you can put the poke these are all Pokemon it doesn't say Pokemon but it's replacing it with Pokemon figurines as well there's also the plushies and then the textures, like I said. So this is all replacing. You see all the Pokemon uh, pictures in here. And those will all replace, like the card art, um, the cards themselves, the pack art, tables, everything. Like I said, it gets updated regularly. And you need this .dll in there, which I said, it'll be in the texture replacer file. So now this is where you will see all of my mods that I have in here. Total packs, uh, open resizable tags, stock count. And you can take these in and out of the game. Um, and I'll show you exactly how they look once you get into the game. And all the files that are on here and the mods are all on these pages here. And just make sure that they have been updated recently. Read the post. See if there's any bugs, anything like that. So there's plenty of different ones to go through. I think there's eight pages right now. Yeah, there's eight pages. And it goes all the way to custom themes for Twitch streamers. Right, so it's, it's crazy. People are coding left and right. So anyways, now, with that said, go back to the files for the simulator, for the plugins. As you can see, we have all of this stuff here, right? We have the data has already been in there. The mono bleeding was already in there. We have the extra added stuff from the Bepin X. And here's all of the .dll files. So every time you get a .dll file or a download one, all you have to do is put it in your mod folder that we put over here and look for it. Sometimes it ends up on the first page here. Other times it's already in the plugins folder for your modded folder. So just check for it. And then you come over here and then you just drag it over. So like auto light switch, auto set price, bulk selling, card selling, all that stuff, crouch, all that. So now... I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like when you go into the game. Is you want to click tab so your game keeps playing or escape if you want it to pause. Push F1 and here are all of your plug-in mod settings that you can go through. Auto light switch, auto set price, better collision, all of that stuff. And you can mess around with this, but this will let you know that it works. If you have any questions about installing these mods, let me know. I'll make another video 
or I'll comment back to you letting you know if there's anything that I've come up with that maybe you run into. But please like and subscribe to this video and until next time, peace.